This week on An Idiot's Ray, we're headed to Santa Rosa Toy Con. So whether your favorite toys are vintage Han Solo action figures or these World War II vibrating mind thingies, there's something for everyone. So in case you didn't notice, we're in a different studio this week. We're at my buddy Terry's house. He's the cameraman. He's a toy collector, and we figured it was appropriate since we headed to Santa Rosa Toy Con this week. It was a lot of fun. We uh, interviewed a lot of cool guests. This time we kind of focused on the guests instead of the cosplayers because they had a lot to say. The question of the week was, if you had a favorite toy when you were a kid, one that you like revered, wanted, super bad, never got, maybe a friend had or maybe you got it, what was it? And we asked a lot of great people this question. We got... Timmy from Lassie, and we actually ended up interviewing Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters, and we kind of made him sad. So, uh, check it out! So I'm here with Ball Rock Del Cabo from Creepy Coffee Movie Time. And uh, what, what is Creepy Coffee Movie Time? It's a uh, late night show. Uh, it's hosted by me and a guy named No Name. And we watch a movie, usually a terrible movie. And uh, during it, we take breaks. We talk about the movie. We ask questions, obviously, about what's going on and why people behave the way they do. And in general, kind of larger questions about humanity in general. Jacqueline Goner. And what are you doing out here today? I am a costume judge for the costume contest. And I am cosplaying. Chris James. And you're one of the uh, ast astromech.net droid builders? Yeah, I'm an auto builder, yeah. C4. C4. And Nick Bush. And then, uh, you are the star and producer of? C4 versus the comic book. Cool, and then you're the illustrator? Uh, yes, sir, I am. I'm here with John Provost. John Provost is known as? Timmy from Lassie. So I'm here with Davidson Howarth. How are you doing? Good, good, how are you? I'm, I'm pretty good. So what are you do? What are you doing out here today? Well, uh, right out here, I'm uh, on my uh, middle of my uh, book tour. Actually, um, I'm the first author in history to have 100% book tour at conventions only. So I'm here with C. Andrew Nelson. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty great today. So you are the Lucasfilm Lucas Arts. Standing Darth Vader, right? <laughs> I spent 12 years playing Darth Vader for Lucasfilm. Oh, you not doing yeah. anymore? Uh, well, not not lately, no. It's just the well, regime well, change. Has, well, not that. <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. It's just that there's not a lot of call for Vader now because we're moving forward, you know. That's so, true. you know, and Vader has served his purpose. That's true. So, yes. I gotta tell you a secret. Okay, tell me a secret. The voice is actually behind me. Oh yeah. And I mean. You may hold the microphone up to me. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, and then there's dumb shit. Oh my god, my glasses. I just got insulted by a puppet. You're not insulted, you're put in your place. There's a big difference. <laughs> Can you guess what I am? No. No? You're not even going to take a guess? Uh, Terry's probably going to be mad at my cameraman because he probably figured it out, but no. Go for it. I'll give you a hint. It's from Legend of Zelda, the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna lose, you're gonna lose me like 500 followers here because it's like a running gag. I've never played a Legend, I've never played a Zelda game, ever. I know, I know. Oh, yes. Timmy's in the Well has become a part of the cultural lexicon. It has. That's a pretty sure. amazing. And, but the weird thing is, Timmy never did fall in a well. <laughs> really? Never. I mean, I fell into, you know, abandoned mine shafts, off cliffs, into, you know, even quicksand but never in a well, and we have not a clue where that catchphrase came from. So the question of the day, because we're at a toy con, All right. is that, did you have, what was that one coveted, either you had it or somebody else had it, or you lost it, toy that you grew okay. up with? That All right. Everybody has the one toy, sure. right? All right. My one toy was, I mean, I was big into G.I. Joe when I was a kid, back when G.I. Joe was this tall, not this tall. Okay, and so um, I always wanted the scuba outfit. G.I. Joe had a scuba outfit. It was an actual rubber scuba outfit nice. with little you know, uh, swim fins and everything. And because my parents knew that all these other kids had gotten it and then gotten the G.I. Joe wet and then had, you know, by putting them in the bathtub or something like that, 
he, he and, and it would fall apart then at that uh, point. They didn't get it for me. Oh. I never, yeah. oh. And it's nothing all too related. I know what I like. It can, okay, so, yeah, no, yeah. No, so it was an evil, I didn't have one, my friend had one, right? Totally unrelated. Okay. It was an evil Knievel, and it was this wind up evil Knievel, and he put him on and he shot off and he went over a ramp. Like this, this 12 inch big, or maybe it was eight inches or something. Right. And it was an evil Knievel. So that, and, it was your... up, and it was like this really, and it, you'd hear it, and it would, and it would wind up, and then, then you press a button, and he would shoot off this like 12 inch big. Uh... I, I it was back in probably the 70s, something, you know. And, and that was you, it wasn't yours though, it was your It was my friend's, and we broke it and he was never the same again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd have to say it was probably have been like a oh, Game Gear or something like that. I never got one, I still oh, don't have I one. I definitely have one. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy eating six AA batteries yeah. for every three hours of gameplay. Yeah. Game so oh my, you, you really here about that. I don't know you if can, anybody you, even knows what that is anymore. You can anymore, move on from it because it wasn't that great. <laughs> Thank God. What about you? Mine would be the original Transformer Omega Supreme, and it is incredibly hard to find and extremely expensive. So until I uh, win the lottery, I will not be getting my. Or my C4 child takes toy. And that would be swell too. C4 versus. So we're here at a toy con. Do you have a favorite toy? Um, yeah, but I can't say what it is. Uh, it's a boy toy. <laughs> um, yeah, I have funny. I don't know what they have here, so I can't tell you what my favorite toy is. Here, but basically, my favorite toy is a rope hanging from a tree. That's that's pretty simple. Maybe with a Yeah, I don't think I need the tire. No I tire? just like to swing. Yeah. I went to a swinger party once, but they were all naked and made me sick. I did. I had a number of those, actually. I remember when I was really, 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 really little. Um, I can name three things at the top of my head. One was a She-Ra doll. I had one, and I always lost it. Always lost it. Don't know why I always lost it. I was an irresponsible child, because I was a child. Um, another one was a Teddy Ruxpin. Um, and my uncle, he's a dentist, and he actually has one. So whenever I, you know, come by to get my teeth cleaned or whatever I need, it's like, hey, I'm, hey, Uncle Leon, it's a, oh my God, it's Teddy Ruxpin! It is a, a Star Wars action figure saber tooth, the one that you uh, order through the mail with proof of purchases. You get, you buy like five Star Wars action figures, you cut out the proof of purchases, you send it, and they send you the saber tooth. Well, I had uh, the saber tooth. And uh, one night, one weekend, I had a like a slumber party, all my friends. And the next day, it was missing. I never oh, saw it again. Oh, so it's oh. like you know. But so that's one uh, I'll always miss. I don't have a toy exactly, okay, so but I don't. do have a comic book that comic haunts book. me. It haunts me to this day. Okay. I started reading The Walking Dead early on. Oh. I own basically issue five, issue four on. And I, back in, oh God, a long time ago, many years ago, I was at a convention in San Jose, and I was holding Walking Dead number one in my hand, $70. And I wrestled all day with whether I was gonna spend $70 on it or not. Did not pull the trigger, obviously. Right. We're thousands now. Yes. And that haunts me because now I will never own it, and I could have owned it for Looking back on it, obviously, very affordable price. Yes. But even then, I should have pulled the trigger. Everybody had that one toy when they were a kid, the, the one that they wanted or that they revered, that a friend had or that they had and they lost. Do you have one of those? A toy that you just had to have as a kid that you maybe never got? Oh, uh, God, I can't, I can't really think of, you know, I wanted one of those little six shooters. I never got it. And I'm taking a broomstick and sort of carving it to kind of look like a pistol and I made a little thing, holster they could put it in, I could draw, started drawing real fast with it, but it was really the end of a broomstick that my mother was really upset because I chopped off the handle of the broom to make it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's... Um, that's awesome. That yeah. reminds me of your role in the cowboy way. That's right, that's right, yeah, I wanted to be a cowboy. Yeah, no, I, I didn't have a lot of toys. I never got anything for Christmas until I grew up and married and gave my wife money to buy me a Christmas present. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, toys, I never really had a lot of toys. Okay, well, yeah. they, they, oh, that was the perfect answer. Right, Thank yeah. you now so I much. Now I have all the toys I want. You can have I'm all grown, of them. damn it. <laughs> anyway, Thank you so much. Sure. Have a good flight right. back. Okay, thanks. Take it easy. So that's it from Santa Rosa Toy Con. We'll see you guys in two weeks. 
so that was Santa Rosa Toy Con. We had a lot of fun. Extra special thanks to Ernie Hudson and all our guests. In about two weeks, we're headed to San Diego Comic Con. We're super excited. It's kind of why there's been so many delays lately with the shows, because we've been getting ready. So if you're going to San Diego Comic Con, you should definitely follow us on Instagram and on Twitter, because we're going to be running all sorts of contests and trivia things, where if you find us on the floor, we'll give you prizes, all sorts of stuff like that. But don't worry, if you're not going to Comic Con, not only are we going to bring you extensive coverage, I mean, every day, at least one video a day from Comic Con that you can check out. But while we'll also be running contests for you guys to be able to win stuff in the next in the coming weeks. Like we're gonna have shirts and stickers and all sorts of cool stuff like that. We ran an Indiegogo campaign and we've got some amazing contributors who are all going to be listed in the credits because they're amazing. Uh, they it was a handful of people that really just apparently decided they wanted us to do a good job. So extra special thanks to them. Special thanks to Jilly Bugs Toys for hugs. They are our charity that we're aligned with. We are able to raise some money to that for them. Thanks to our cosplayers that came out to our actual physical fundraiser that we had at my work. I have uh, lots of people to thank. Just check out the credits. As always, check out Dan Sucks Podcast. Terry, my cameraman, is now the new co-host. Check out TJ Bruce Thumbs, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Well, man, I just got my girlfriend killed, um, and I'm not really sure how to move on. You know, that's a little above my pay grade, but um, I'd say uh, go with the gingers. What? What kind of advice is that?